gotta tell you, I feel I don't know what else to. It's like it's like it just gets from bad to worse with this person in my head. From bad to worse. to to work see this is I'm trying to look for for something to help myself I, I don't know what else to do I'm trying to find different ways and how to maybe get somebody to help me I, I I don't know I you know I can't I can't afford anything and that's the thing it's been over a fucking month I've had a new client everywhere you go like not everywhere I've spoken to this one guy he's supposed to be helping me but he's telling me the same thing like this everywhere yeah everybody else can make money online the thing is I'm not a newbie I'm just not now starting out I was making money steadily you're gonna tell me okay there are changes but all of them all every single one of them affecting me the fucking time 24 hours a fucking day Non-stop for month after month after month? I smell a fucking rat. I smell a rat. Something doesn't smell right, and it's not his fault. See, a lot of these guys out there, they, they, they have these, 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 these skill sets and they want to help people. Two things. They have they want to sell you other 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 um, equipment, devices, technology, whatever it is. And the second thing is the word hack is synonymous with police and law enforcement. And they just don't have the time for it. They just don't have the time for it. Especially if they know that the person can't pay them. And to go and give testimony in court, to go and give testimony in court. I don't think it's, it's not a matter of being paid it's a matter of, of him being um, called and what's the word solicited they give him they give him a letter where he has to go give the testimony I, I, I don't even know what's called but um, subpoena there you go subpoena um, I, I going crazy or what? Because I've been online since the ending part of 2014. I started with uh, eBay. Then I started, I made my own website during 2015 and I started selling, I started offering my services. And with that being said, it's like, uh, For most part of 2015. 2016, yeah, I worked my website. So a year of 2016, 2016 no, I worked mostly on Amazon. So 2018 and 19, that's three, 2020 up to mid-year. Like, so let's say a year, three years and about nine months, I had a really good run. Made, you know, a lot, a lot of money. In 2016, New Year's Eve, we call it All Year's Day in my, in my birth country. New Year's Eve 2016, I mean 2015 going into 16, I had moved to that part of California. I remember my friend driving me up there and I remember, oh God, I hope he doesn't ask me for gas money because all I had was $60. I was already pre-planning if I can't pay this, the, the, the guy whose room I was, was renting a room from. If I couldn't pay his next, the January's rent, what was I going to do? Okay. Okay. And I remember as when I moved there, everything started to be different. From then on, from, from, from New Year's Day to the 19th, the 17th, or the 19th of January, it was just a few days, like three weeks, or just a couple of days shy of three weeks, that I was able to put $1,800 in my new landlord's hands, just like that. Remember, it had to be done in two swoops because I couldn't get the money out at the same time. 
from the from the ATM. But I was able to do that, and that's something I am still proud of to this day. This day. Oh, how to make money online. It's like everything shifted. If every fucking thing shifted for me. Like, people were just calling me in the middle of the night asking for my services. Like, I was, whoa, where was this like, just everything, everything, everything changed. It was so good. Well, website, I'm one of those people who don't have, never had a bad review at all. Until April 21st and the 22nd, some dude posted... A, a, a review saying that I never return calls, which is a complete lie. And the same, the next day he copied and pasted it on another website. Now, I don't know if somebody else was using my website or what they were doing. I don't know. And what the hell they were doing with it, I don't know. My guess is they were using where the hacking came into play. See, these people hack people. And I have a feeling, you see how things happen in a bad way. They hack people. Your mind, your mind is in turmoil. Your mind is upset. Your wife is leaving. Your husband is leaving. Your ch you know, whatever is happening. Your, your partner is, is leaving. Your, your, your life is in like up to sh it's shambles. It's in shambles. Your mind is in shambles. You got a little bit of money. You're talking to someone, you're trying to take control of the situation because this is the only thing left that you can do to make you feel, well, I'm actually doing something. Is that control people like. They like to feel like they're at least doing something to regain control of the situation. This is why they seek us out. In the moment, they need to do something or they will just, all this excess energy, they're going to explode. So I enjoy the services I provide. I enjoy the services I provide. And they call, you know, and they have this, like, like my phone right here, like this on the phone everywhere I turn. Now they can see, they can see. And they're just, oh, do you have that in your home? Do you have that in your home? And you're like, this person is really, really, really good. All the while, going through your photos, going through your messages, going through every all the apps on your phone while you're talking to them. Do you know this person, this letter starts with an M, that one starts with an E, that one starts with a P, you know, whatever. That's, that's how it works. And you're like bowled over. All like me, who don't? I can say, well, okay, it'll cost you like $200, $300. They're going to want $3,000. And you're so needing now their service their services because you believe in them because they seem so exceptionally good you just fork it over stand where if you get it if they if they make it again the next is wrong they want something else they might come up with somebody something a person might be well this person is working against you that person is doing this that person is creating strife because they go through all your all your freaking stuff and they see what's People you don't like, people you, you, you're gossiping about, who is gossiping about you. Because they're not only going to hack you now, they're hacking everybody that you know. Everybody that you know, and it never stops. Because they can go through all my clients and they'll see how much I charge for my services, as opposed to some people what they charge were genuine out there who actually tries to make a difference and not try to just break people's money willy-nilly you'll see the differences because they're not gonna go through all the hassle to hack this and hack that for two hundred dollars they're not gonna do that they're not gonna do that and they're not gonna only go to them they'll go to other people because I've had people who contacted me then Somebody contacted them claiming that they're doing offering the same services I am. I'm an arm and a leg. 
unsolicited, they're calling the phone number. Make us look like, like it's, we're a network of people. It's not so. They're, they're hacking everybody. So that's one possibility that might have happened with my website. I don't know. Anything. The website is not the problem. But they wanted me to believe it was the website. They wanted me to believe it was the website. The website is this. The website is red flag. By whom? I don't know. There's nothing wrong with the website. It's because this, this hacking is incessantly getting out of control. It's incessantly getting out of control. So, uh, you know, I don't understand. And like, I t when I left and I was living in Vegas, somebody blatantly hacked into the, into the, into the Google Ads account. The site links, where the site links go. Now, what are site links? Like, you got a website selling um, something green, something blue, something red, right? Is selling okay this card this uh, one one page is dedicated to the sale of this card the next page is dedicated to the sale of this um, floss and I'm selling this hand wipe each page right each page on the website let's say it's a, it's a, it's a commerce e-commerce website so one page that's this is the best uh, you can be, you know, so why it's the best. You take the URL and you put it in a, in a site link. You do that with the same. This is the best floss since sliced bread. This is the best card. Why it's the best card? You write it. Now each page has a different URL, and you just put those in the ad. So they click on the main ad, and these site links may come up. They could go to whatever site link they need. Well, I'm looking for floss. Here you go. I'm looking for tarot cards. I'm looking for hand sanitizer. This, this link is offering all these things as an e-commerce store. Different types of spiritual work. Different types of tarot. It doesn't matter. But in I lo uh, logged into my account and saw in the site links, there were like three or four different spiritual sites. I'm in my site. I'd never set up site links before in my life. I was just fine with $20 a day. I was just fine with $20 a day. Made over $100,000 a year with it. Made over $100,000 a year with it. Made $88,000 the following year because things, I guess I was paying too much attention to who was being abused and who was not. That's on me. That was on my ass. I take responsibility for that. Curiosity kills. The thing is, with that being said now, there was, no, I'm not gonna pay for advertising and when the people click on the link, it takes them to somebody else's website. Why would I do that? Somebody was doing that just, it's all well, learning as they go along how to perfect this, how to create more and more damages, how to create more and more chaos, how to, how to just drain me of all my resources and make me feel like no matter what I do, it's never going to be successful. This, this is what they want. This is the message they were trying to convey. Now, who would take the time to do this except to someone who absolutely detests me? Now, when I assumed that this woman's boyfriend was abusing her, she had every freaking right to come out and say no. She had every right to come out and say no. She had every right to file a, a, a complaint, a cease and desist letter. Tried to go to the police, the police would have come and say, well, just stop texting her. They would have tried to defuse the situation. She do that. The only reason I'm saying this is that we go, she didn't say anything, and then she's doing this? This doesn't make sense. Why didn't she do something about it? In here, like I said, and someone texts me that this person is beating the shit out of me or being cruel to me or I'm being cruel to them, I will want to set this, get, get, it, get, them, get their story straight. 
You just say, you go out and set this person straight or let's do it together or I will go. Because I'm not going to take that stain on my head that I'm abusing you or you're abusing me. I'm not going to do that. Why didn't they do that? It was not like it was hailstorms that were going to come down from heaven if they did that. Probably will now. Because it seems like it's, it's, it's just not stopping with her. It's just not stopping with her. And I, I just don't understand why. Like, where is her freaking family? Out here for over two years. Where's her family? If, she, if she's missing for two years, where's her fucking family? Where she is? Or they're hoping that somebody killed her somewhere and she's dead. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I really don't care. The moment I, she was sitting around my house and she was part of it, for a moment I thought she was just doing that like because the boyfriend was making her do it. Oh, he wasn't. This was all what they were all in it. All in it. They were all in it. Because I wasn't the only one in, the, in, the, in where we lived to notice things were, were, were a little bit off. That's why I'm not afraid to go to court. I wasn't the only one. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. I share that because I'm hoping that somebody who is related to her sees this and stop her. Just get her away from me. And when it comes to this hacking in me, this constant hacking, this constant hacking, Everybody can make money online suddenly for some reason I can't. No, I don't I don't believe that's not realistic. For me, that's woo-woo. That's unrealistic and, and unacceptable to me. That's unacceptable to me. Make a livable income, even if the income dropped a little. I don't think so. I know my niche. I know my niche. My niche is services on a one-on-one. -on -one. I can't give the same services John A would give or Jane A or John B or Joe B. I can't, this is, may be the same family, but I can't get, have the same level of services they have. They could be better or worse. There's too many people out there re requiring my services or services like the ones I offer. There's not a lack of clients. I'm being hacked. That's my truth and that's my reality.